it's the Arsenal Killer represented by Jay and Eric and today I'm just gonna drive the TBR targets for you. I'm gonna make this a drift tune. I'm gonna show you guys the best drifting tune for this car here. I mean this is not the most powerful car in the world and it's not the prettiest coming out. It's it's a TVR for crying out loud. TVR are like the kings of making some powerful popular cars that just look somewhat ahead of your time but they still look shite enough to just not be that exciting to look at. So you know what? I'm gonna take this one for a drive. We're gonna slide this about. But the thing is that I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do tuning on this. So I'm not gonna spend much money. So the only thing I'm gonna do is just you know it has a lot of power already as it is. It has over 400 horsepower. So the only thing I really need on it is to just you know just get you know just mess around with the suspension really. So we just need to set that up. So so whatever tires it has so just to check the tires okay so they have street all right so that's pretty much all you need to really get this thing sliding so I'm just gonna go ahead and um, go here to the docks nice as always so all right so for this max the steering angle the Ackerman angle you can leave that halfway I mean you don't have to but this is, just, this is like what I sort of recommend. So based on the car, I see that it's kind of light. So let's put the negative camera at the front to around 2.3. And for the rear, um, no, I'm just gonna bend the rules a bit. Go to 0 0.9 because I'm used to usually just getting it at, you know, 0 0.7. But whatever. So I'm gonna show you guys how to actually get this thing drifting without having to put that much effort into it. So. Oh wow, okay. Alright, so as you can clearly see, this thing is peeling. Oh wow, okay. Okay, just the wall top. Oh, okay, wow, okay. So this already has mad power. You don't really need to actually add anything else to it. You just need to just be careful. Oh, okay. I'm loving this as a drift car. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Oh ho ho. I'm loving it. Okay, okay, sorry. Um Oh I'm li I'm liking this car. I'm liking this. I mean this thing knows how to go around the corner. But the only problem I have with it is that it grips quickly. So I didn't do anything with the tires. I didn't touch the tire pressure. Um, I did a lot the oh that's why. So that's what's happening. So there's something else I didn't do. I didn't lock the diff. Okay, so I actually didn't lock the diff. So that's something that's causing a little bit of an issue there. So lock the diff. Of course, you need to lock the diff at all times. So just for me personally, I just put this down, put on street tires, get some more push on the front. I mean the rear tires, and we should be good to go. Seeing that it's on street, I don't. It won't be gripping as often, and it will just slide about like, a, pretty much like an idiot. So, just watch and see. See. Okay. Well, the diff's still locked. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. I like. I like this. I like the Tigris. Oh, the Tigris is peeling. No, can I make it? Can I make it? Yep. Okay. All right. So, going around and round and round. Okay. 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 Oh, oh, oh. Nice. Keep in mind, by the way, that I actually just drift. I drift with a controller, and I'm not using a controller, as you can clearly tell by what you're seeing on the screen. I am not that great. Oh shoot. Shoot, 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 but yeah, you guys see the tune that I got and you see that it works, that it actually works. The car is sliding about, Jesus Christ, oh yes, don't spin out, don't spin out, don't spin out, don't spin out, nice, that's looking like complete clutz. Oh yes, that looks like fire, alright, you know what, I think I'll just end it there. <laughs> So guys, thank you guys so much for watching and um, see you in the next video and thanks so much for the support guys and we'll see you in the video so peace out.